Machinery Pete is crisscrossing the country this week with some very interesting auction items and prices. All right, folks, here are four of the most eye-catching items I saw sold at auction last week. We're going to start off out in Winter, South Dakota last Tuesday at consignment auction by Grand Auction Service. Sold this really sharp 1986 Massey Ferguson 860 combine, 1800 hours, one owner, so for $16,500. Now that's the highest auction price on a Massey 860 sold without heads in the U.S. in almost 20 years. Now the next day, last Wednesday, we'll hop over to Michigan where an online auction had a very unusual tractor, this white 260 Mudder. Now this thing had actually been featured in the August-September uh, 21 issue of Oliver Heritage Magazine. It sold for $5,050 last Wednesday. Now the next day, last Thursday, we'll go back out west again to Dickinson, North Dakota. Yoder and Fry auctioneers had a retirement auction, unusual sale for Mike's Excavating. Now Mike started his business 1958, 65 years ago. He's 97 years old now. He retired years ago, but he held back a few items. Sold them last Thursday. One was this 2008 Case WX210 Excavator, only 30 hours on it. So 15 years old with 30 hours, that brought 115,000 bucks. And folks, we started with Massey Ferguson. That's where we're going to end it. Uh, a week ago Saturday on a collector auction in Calora, Maryland, sale by Lehman Auctions, this Massey Ferguson 1100 tricycle narrow front gas, only 676 hours shown on it, kind of a barn find kind of a deal. It sold for 15,000 bucks. That's an all-time record high auction price on a Massey 1100.